This is your favorite B-Boy show Servus, Grüezi und Grüezi. Welcome, not to the best, no, your favorite podcast with your favorite people host. And my guest this time, all the way from Australia, Casarino, representing the cream team. Please make some noise for B-Boy J Attack. Hello, bro. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, guys? How you going? What's up, brother? Thank you for taking your time to do this with us. Uh, so good. You're currently uh, after practice at home chilling. Yes, yes, yes. Just go home from practice. I just went out with my dog in the morning and now we're going to do this. <laughs> yes. So, uh, really nice to have you on Godfather TV. Of course, oh, thank you. there is a big reason we invited you because you're going to represent the whole Oceania at the Olympics. So, congrats. Yes. Thank you, thank you. So, how's how's the status? Uh, people on the streets already recognize you, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone, um, and in school already knows I'm part of the Olympics. You know, I haven't, I didn't even say anything. You know, they, everyone yeah. just naturally found out. Yeah. Ah, nice, nice. So I think, but I don't know exactly. You will be the youngest competitor in the Olympics, right? I th I think so. I think so. I'm not too sure, but I'm I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure. How old will you be in the Olymp when the Olympics take place? Uh, I'll still be 16. I just turned 16, 16 a month ago. 16 years old. Holy yes. shit. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's crazy. 16 years old. Nice. Yeah. Eh? And you're going to be at the Olympics with all the adults. Yeah, it's crazy. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, for the people to know, when did you start dancing? Um, I started dancing when I was like six, seven, so somewhere around that, and I, that's when I took on breaking. But really, I started when I was like four or five. But that's when I did hip hop. Oh, know, I did hip hop, you know. But I took on um breaking when I was six or seven. Okay. And I started taking it seriously um three, four years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I know it's a long time, and you were much younger then. You have any memories from the? First time you witnessed hip hop or you saw people dancing and that influenced you starting dancing? Yeah, it was my sister that influenced me to start dancing, you know, because she used to do um hip hop lessons in a studio, you know, in one room that she did a uh, hip hop lessons and then mm -hmm. in another room was like a breaking class, you know. Uh -huh. So instead of um the lesson, I used to watch the breaking class. Uh -huh. And do you remember yeah. a, a, a specific move you saw in the breaking class that you thought, oh, I need to learn this? Um, well, obviously handstands and um, the baby freeze, baby yes. freeze, you know, like, like that. Yes. Yeah, baby freeze. Yes, yes. That, that's what I really wanted to learn. Nice. So that, that just, after the baby freeze, I gradually learned all the other freezes, you know, mm -hmm. and then I started learning top rocks and, you know, footwork. Yes. And I just got better after so, that. So steadily, slowly and steadily, you went from the hip-hop class into the breaking class? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, I see, I see. And how long did you take the breaking classes there? Oh, well, it was just like maybe once a week, just for ah, an hour. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. It wasn't yes. serious. It wasn't mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what gave you uh, the motivation to practice more than once a week? moves. Our moves, Our yeah, moves. yeah. Our moves. So when I was young, my favorite b boy that I looked up to was b boy Pocket. Yes, yes. So I really loved his pocket, uh, his like style and like his power moves. I just wanted to like copy that exact style and um just the things he did, you know, just being famous for his power, you know, because back mm -hmm. then when I was little, power was the only thing that you know. This was just pure entertaining. Just mm -hmm. I just wanted to entertain the world just with yes. And I thought power was the thing to entertain. Mm -hmm. I mean, power is the 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 thing that people that people that don't can come from our scene, they understand mm. power the most. Yes. So yes. if you start doing a crazy footwork round, nobody will understand it. You know, uh, and only like people like b boys and b girls. Yes, exactly. But if you start doing windmill, half layer, ninety head spin, everybody will go crazy. Yeah. What was your first power move you learned? 
Um, windmills, windmills was the you first one. You had a hard time made. learning it? Nah, it took me three weeks, maybe less. Three weeks? Yeah. Nice, nice. I guess you had the you had the good uh, teacher then. Yes, good teacher, good coach. Yes. Uh, actually, we met like two years ago in Slovenia. Yes, yes, yes. You met one of my coaches. Yes, we both fungo. Yes, I was hosting, and I just want to give you guys props because you uh, you are really outstanding from all the other crews. Thank you, thank you. And thank uh, you. I really like fungo style how he's battling. It's, it's <laughs> yes. because uh, he, he's like I guess he's from my generation because I started in two thousand. And uh, oh, yeah, he started there, yeah. yeah, and he reminds me of all this time how how cats used to battle and everything. So yes, yes, so, very comedic. So shout outs to Fongo. And um, when did you meet him? Oh, um, when I started properly training, like so when I started taking breaking on when I was seven. Mm -hmm. So I used to go to um. Uh, an area like up in New uh up in Australia, so like Queensland, you know Queensland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there's a place called um Narang, and there was a little studio there. It was called I Can Dance Studio, and it used to always be there with uh the crew Team Cream. So before mm -hmm. I was part of Team Cream, I just just trained with them because I knew all the kids in that. So um, he was always there, you know, and I only knew him just as um. Just, just a friend, you know, just, just a friend, and then as I got older, he became more of a coach and a really close friend. I see, I see, yes, yes, yes. And uh, when, when did you start uh, becoming a part of the team, Team Cream? When I was about um, nine, ten, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, when I, um, that's when I got inducted into the, you know, Team Cream. You know, that was a very special moment for me. You know. It was like a second family, you know. It was a family yes. of breaking. Yes, so yes, it was. It was very, you know, very. What meant what, a lot. But was the reason you just won a battle, or you learned some moves, or was it just a time that you become a part of the crew? I think it was just the just it was just the time that I just came a part of the crew. You know, I've been there. I've been with them. You know, for a while at that time. You know, and they all became very close to me. You know, mm -hmm. and I reckon I was. Um, training a lot better when i was with them as well and i think they noticed that i see yes yes so how many how many members are you there well well back then there used to be like 20 but now that i think there's 13 14 oh that's so, yeah. still a lot that's still a lot yeah yeah you, I see you, you still do crew battles are there crew battles in your area yeah there, there are crew battles in Australia. it's not it's not big anymore it used to be crazy big apparently in early 2000s mm -hmm. but it's not nowhere near as big as it used to be but mm -hmm. we still get um few crew members and um crew battles then and there mm -hmm. and uh in uh uh in general you have a lot of b-boys and b-girls your age no when when I um was starting to get good, it was maybe like me and two other kids that were like fifteen, sixteen, mm -hmm. that were not outstanding, but like kind of like made me scared a little bit. Okay, okay. But like they they weren't they weren't that hard, mm -hmm. you know. But I I never really had that competition until I started going to adult competitions. Yes. So since I never got any benefit in kids competitions, I started battling in adult competitions when I was like. Well, I see, I see. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, how was battling for you? Did it came naturally? Did you have to learn it? Um, it kind of just came naturally. I just had to overcome my fear of just like you know not caring about what people think and just you know doing what I do, doing what I love, you know. And mm -hmm. yeah, I think the battle, um, competitive competition and like mentality just came naturally to me. Yes. So yeah. You remember the first battle you entered? Yes, I'm pretty sure it was called the Rugrats, hosted by Team Cream. Yes. Yes, yes. And um, I remember because we were practicing for a little bit and I did a freeze and I farted. And <laughs> um, I, I ran out and I started crying because um, I didn't want to go back in because I felt so embarrassed. No. And, <laughs> yes, yes. And this wasn't even the battle. This wasn't even the battle. So, yeah, I fought it, you know. I had a few people laugh at me, you know. I don't think they were laughing at me. Oh, my God. laughing at the fact that I fought it. 
Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I felt so embarrassed. I did. I so didn't want to go back out there, but I did. <laughs> and then I, I entered my first battle. And it was so fun. It, what was it? The crew battle then? I uh, know it was just um a kids battle I entered in. Was it one on one already? Yes, yes. My, oh, was my first your, first, your first battle was a one on one battle. Yes, and that was the same year I started. <laughs> Crazy, that's crazy. Yeah. Respect. So you prefer one on one or crew battles? Crew battle. I always feel like I'm like a lot better when I'm yeah. around my crewmates. I think it's just from the hype, you know. And I know that they, I can, they can back me up when I feel like I'm not motivated, you know. Whereas one on one, you gotta like that's really when you can tell if you've been training or not, you know. Yeah. 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 Uh yeah, I love crew battles. This this for me the yeah. essence of our culture. You with yes. your brothers and sisters, you go to war, you win together, you lose together. So yeah. For for me, that's the best. Uh yeah. I said I saw you in Slovenia with Fongo. Yes. When, yes. when did you start traveling with your crew? Um, I think I think of the first competition the international competition i ever went to with my crew was in singapore called radical force jam oh you know nice jam? yes 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 when it was held in singapore which is it's now in vietnam mm -hmm. but the first time i went was 2014 i think oh nice and then I, yeah so that was my first ever international competition i went with my crew you know mm -hmm. and then the second time was uh singapore again it was radical we loved radical um, and it was in 2016, and that was the year they came second at, at Radical in the four and four crew battles. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everybody was surprised, I guess. Yes, yes. Everyone was super surprised. Some Australian. Everyone, everyone loved them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. That, that's really nice. Um, so, um, of course, we want to talk about the Oceania Championships too. But uh, yes. before we talk about that, you have a, like a real complete style. Like you do top rocks, you do footwork, you have freezes, you have power. Who you modeled your dancing around? You had some role models that you look up to or still look up to? Yeah, I had some phases of like people I really looked up to. Like um, recently, like during COVID times, I really looked up to Supreme for, for his top rock and his style. Yeah, just his overall style, you know, I loved his style, you know. Mm -hmm. Um and Lee as well. I really looked up to his athleticism and his creativity. You know, I'm I'm a great friend with him now, and he's helped me. And in a workshop that I went to, he's helped me open my mind with some creative ways that I can, you know, input in my breaking. Mm -hmm. But um, when I first started breaking, I think um the people I mainly looked up to was like Pocket, Kid Columbia, B-Boy Blonde. Um, I had a phase where I really looked up to Issei at one point because yes, you know yes. he was rebel champion you know he had everything mm -hmm. um but recently i've been looking up to um victor and stripes recently yes, yes. Ooh, that's that, that's um some good role models to have definitely definitely uh so oceana breaking championships uh before you entered the battle did you know you have what it takes to take the w Yeah, a, a bit, a bit. You know, I didn't want to be too cocky about it or too overconfident. In, but I knew I'd been training my butt off for this ever since that it got announced. You know that I wanted to make the Olympics. You know, um, that I knew I was like determined, and I knew what it took to, um, you know, make it to the Olympics. You know, especially for the Oceania because I felt like. You know, it's, it's not an international competition. I, I know everyone. I know the level of the competition. I feel like I got a good chance. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you had other crewmates enter too? Yes, yes. I think half uh, half of my crew entered. And I think about me and three others made it, I think. And you also met them in the battles? Yes. I versed one of my crewmates in the top 16 round robin. Mm -hmm. And I versed one of one of my crewmates in the top eight, mm -hmm. and then I versed my um other crewmate in the finals. Ah, okay. Yes. So I I guess these were the hardest battles for you because they know your moves, you know their moves. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. They know my weaknesses. I know theirs. 
But um, we we don't hold back. You know, the one thing yes. that my crew has told me is like, even if they're your crewmate, you know, you don't hold back no matter what. You know, you go at them because at the end of the day, you know, it's just a battle. You know, don't take it to heart ever. You know, leave everything on the floor. You yes. know, um, like, you know, if you feel, you know, angry at them, just leave that anger on the floor. You know, and just you know, just chill. Mm -hmm. Was there a specific b boy that uh, you thought like okay? In order to be the champion, I need to beat this guy. Yes, yes. In the top eight, top eight. Um, his my crewmate is um Chris Cello. He, he's known by B Boy Cello, and um he was um probably the one like very few people that I thought um I'm gonna have a tough tough time against him. Okay, you know? okay. Because he has very good style and very good musicality, and he has he knows how to you know bring the crowd, you know. Mm -hmm. He's a very good entertainer, you know. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he was probably my hardest competition, mm -hmm. and I, yeah, I reckon, I reckon it was just mainly him that I was really worried about. Mm. So after you won it, you thought like, Phew, now, yeah, now yeah. I'm gonna take everything. Yes, yes, because um, with this uh, with this competition, uh, I was very strategic with it because I had a lot of rounds because. Not much people knew that you had had to have like 16, 17 yeah. rounds for this competition, you know. They only had like max 10. Mm -hmm. So when I versed my mate in the finals, you know, he was out of rounds and I, I still had like a bunch of rounds left. So I just, just oh, went perfect. ahead. Perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect. So yeah, congrats again, bro. Uh, Thank you. you. deserve it because hard work always pays off. And yes. uh, I saw before we started, I saw your parents. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I guess after they always been uh, supportive uh, about your dancing. Yes, yes. Since the very start, they've always, they've always been there. I, I don't think I could ever want to, you know, any different parents or anything. You know, and they're super supportive of me. You know, they take the time and energy, uh, and they pour all into me, and I'm super thankful for that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I guess you're still in school, right? Yes, yes, yes. I just finished all my exams. All right, nice. Congrats. So now you can uh, focus more on breaking. Yes, yes. Especially leading up to the holidays, I can focus mm -hmm. way more. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Uh, so before we talk about your preparations for the Olympics, uh, we come to our segment. It's called your Faith Five, where we talk about oh, your favorite yes. things. Like I said, it doesn't have to be five, but we want around five. So yeah. we always start classic, your favorite B-Boys. Favorite B-Boys? I guess we heard a couple of them, but you can read. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, Supreme, obviously for his style. Stripes, just like the way he dances and like his, you know, moves. Lee, you know, I look up to him a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Victor, mm -hmm. um, just overall, just crazy B-Boy. And, oh, fifth one. Oh, I, I don't know. I think we I think put, it just oh. we put we put Fongo in there. Yes, Fongo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fongo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that, nice. that's my five. Nice, nice, very nice five. Uh, B girls, your favorite five B girls. Favorite five B girls. Ooh. Um, Nika, B girl Nika. Nice. Uh, Sissy. Oh yes. This I get I think this is one of my favorites right now, CC. Yeah, she's sick. Um recently Vigo um Yasmin, the from Japan. Yeah, that yeah, she's flavor, brother, the yes. flavor. Yeah, she's so sick to watch. Um six seven one, crazy power, crazy power. And um probably Vigo India, you know, she, India, has, yes. she has good overall overall um style. Yes, nice. Uh, your favorite five DJs. DJs, oh, DJ Flag, Obunaga, Lean Rock. Um, I think I don't listen. I don't listen to anyone else apart from those three. Ah, okay. They're like my favorite. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is there maybe a name when you enter a battle and you see the name and you get excited? Yes, yes. Especially Nobunaga. I get really excited when he comes to DJ. For me, he's number one. Nobunaga is yes. me. Because yeah, he always... knows how to how to uh, hype the whole event. So he, yes. does, he go like this, he goes like this. Goes like... Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, your favorite five events? Favorite five events? Um, what, Radical Force, because of just the memories. Um, IBE, I learned a lot at IBE. Oh, nice. Um, Outbreak, just the whole event was vibes. Whole event was vibes. Um, Rebel BC1, New York. Mm -hmm. um, that was crazy, you know. Um, just um, just being there was just crazy. Yes. And freestyle sessions. Yes, yes. That was a freestyle yes. sessions. Man, you, you came around. These are like real classic and uh, high level battles. So, yes, yes. Nice, nice. Um, your favorite five battles to watch? Favorite five battles to watch? Like, as in, like, on, like, just that I've seen on YouTube. Or Let, like... Let's say, let's say you're at home, you're chilling, you have nothing to do, and you watch your favorite breaking clips, your favorite battles. Which one you watch? Oh, um. One I like to go back to is Issei vs. Hong Ten in 2016. That gets me hyped. Mm -hmm. Um, another battle was um, it was um, Kick Columbia vs. Uh, Nguyen Nguyen. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, oh, what's another battle? Oh, uh, B Boy Blonde vs. B Boy Menu. Uh, Menu and, and Red Bull. Yes, that was that was epic. Um. Oh, what was the one? Um, I think it's uh Supreme versus Icy Ives at Unbreakable. That was probably my my favorite battle. Oh, uh, with the with the tuk, 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 tuk. yeah yeah <laughs> that one. That's, yeah, he was on that whole night. Yeah, I don't Bro, know who he was. he's he's so free, brother. He doesn't yes. care about whole rounds or anything. He just do does his thing. He's just having fun. He's crazy. He's crazy. Yeah, exactly. And um, I, I think that's just it. I, I, those are the main ones that I look back on. Right. Nice, 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 nice. I I I just want to say oh uh last unbreakable, is supreme or was it like the championships in Belgium? They could also uh um qualify for the Olympics in Belgium yes. recently. And he didn't, oh, yes. he didn't make the top 16 or top 8, but his clips Funny. his clips from stands, they were the most viewed. Crazy. It was crazy. So much style. The music such, a, such a complete dancer. It's just fascinating. Yes. Fascinating. So, Olympics, we are about seven months away, eight months away from it. Uh, how is your preparation? You already have a plan. You, how you're gonna do it? Tell us a little bit about that, please. Yeah, it's just um just back to normal, you know. Training in the morning, training the other, you know, gym four times a week, you know, um keeping that healthy diet like usual, like anyone should. Mm -hmm. Um, right now I recently been training on my like on um, transitions and footwork, trying to level those up a lot more. Mm -hmm. Um, also my um ending freezes, you know. I lack a lot in um my finishing freezes after I finish the set because yep. you know I sometimes get tired. Of course. Um I'm working a lot of my um legs, you know, because you can tell I start to get um fatigued or gas when my legs start to look heavy. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. my upper body, it's always my legs that you can tell I start to feel heavy. Um and just um yeah, just I've still upgraded my power, you know, just um, getting my musicality in touch. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just going back to old habits. Oh, mm -hmm. good old habits. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Nice, nice. That this sounds like a good plan. Yes. And what do you think besides you, who will take the Olympics? Who will take the Olympics? Either I feel like either Victor, Phil, or Danny Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those three. It depends who is who's feeling better that day, I guess. Yes, yes, depends. Yes, yes. And uh, what do you think about the big girls who will take it there? Um, I'm not too sure. I really want um Sunny to win. Sunny, ah, Sunny. Ah, nice. Sunny, yes, yes, yes. Yes, she's great friend with one of my friends from the USA. Mm -hmm. Great. 
and she's she has really really good character she's really nice a nice person really humble yes yes nice nice and uh since you won the Oceania championships your life changed you... um I thought it would but like um the only difference is just uh just interviews like this fun fun interviews you know uh, that's uh that's the only difference you know Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're still trying to find um sponsors for people to sponsor me and just get funding. But I guess that that shouldn't be that dif difficult. I mean, you represent the whole continent and everything. Yeah, you you think that, but um, the yeah, it's just hard for us right now, especially for me because I'm not really sponsored by anyone. I'm just getting like uh just this funding, and it's not that much. Mm -hmm. so I'm not I'm not sponsored by anyone yet. So maybe you have to get a manager, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Just ah, perfect. an agent. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice. Yeah, man, I wish you the best uh, of luck. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Just talk. We we talked about your favorite b boys, and uh, you will meet them. <laughs> you will face them. Yes. Yes. You have to smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, what's the next uh, trips for you? Um, I think. The UK and Italy, so those two gems are a bit before Paris. So it just um prepares me, um mm -hmm. for um the Olympics, which would be good. And then after the Olympics, I go straight IBE outbreak and world battle. I right, right. So we will see us latest at IBE. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I'll I'll be there for sure. I'll be there for sure too. Yes, yes. So uh, yeah, uh, brother. Thank you so much for taking your time. No, thank you. Thank you. And uh, talk about your amazing journey. A lot of respect for you, such a young thank gun. You. But uh, you already talk like you are 20 years in the game. So <laughs> refreshing to see. Uh, also, greetings to your crew, especially Fongo. I will hit him up. I need to do a podcast with him too. Yes, Get, for uh, sure. There will be some fun stories to hear also. Yeah. And uh, yeah, at the end... Uh, Do you have any more shout outs or some last words? Yeah, um, shout out to Team Cream, you know. Yeah. Nice. Crew is family. Crew is family, definitely. Yes. Uh, from my side again, thank you for taking your time, brother. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, of course, for all the viewers and listeners, if you like this, please comment what you want to see next. Give us a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. And... Please subscribe. We're on the road to thousand subscribers. Let's make this platform bigger so people like this gentleman have a bigger platform where they can share and uh, reach all all different uh, types of people. Um, and if you want to show full support, we have our Patreon. You can become a Patreon, support us every month. And uh, yeah, of course, follow Jay Attack on Instagram. Follow his journey. Uh, believe me, you want to see him battle. It's really refreshing to see a young guy like him uh, battle so like an adult. And uh, yeah, that was your favorite Bieber show with your favorite Bieber host. See you next time. Good luck, brother, and peace.